it's me Aya. Today I'm continuing uh, to show you one of my methods how you can use the normal cards uh, and ask them a question. Uh, some of the methods I learned from my school where I'm taking uh, online class right now or some of the methods I got from uh, YouTube channels and thank you guys my YouTube friends that they uh, they making um, great great videos and uh, most of the information that I have now and I learned that's actually also from YouTube channel YouTubers about the normal cards and tarot cards so uh, let me tell you this uh, not necessarily my methods might be might work for you because some of you might thinking this is too complicated and you use another method that's why I always ask uh, you guys uh, to leave your comments at the end of the video uh, give me the idea how you see the cards how they work with you um, what's your experience with these cards or maybe you have some questions that you want to check with my cards we can do a live stream actually too okay I'll be very appreciate and also um, I want to tell you that the normal cards they have more than 100 different style types and method to use them you know you can pull the cards uh, this way you can uh, pull first uh, six cards and after that uh, the six cards can give you that maximum answer and maximum information what was your question about okay so again my method not necessarily work with you but I think it's always helpful and always pluses to know more methods as much as you can because you never know until you don't never try right and that way I hope that um, we all still learning right because there's a lots of things to learn about this amazing Lenormand cards to be honest and there is endless information uh, and uh, I hope uh, my video will help you even a little bit I will be happy if my channel helps you to learn and know these cards uh, better than before or you can make a method uh, check the method and uh, it worked out with you and you get the right answer or you get the great advice or you get the great clue great clue which way to go um, well I hope sometimes you know some people ask me um, uh, not serious questions ask me to ask the cards and check through my cards not serious questions like uh, why the, my neighbor uh, doesn't clean you know his door <laughs> or stuff like that well I mean I think everyone has a right to check the cards their own way right so for some people it might sound not serious question but for some people it might be something very serious I mean me personally I don't want to waste my time for that kind of question I usually check serious questions or something that might really help to person right and I don't answer I don't check the cards by unethical questions like uh, if the person never asked me to put the card ask the cards about him or her and it's not really related to me I don't need to know I don't want to waste my time and I think it's not ethical every Lenormand and a card, card tarot uh, fortune tellers I'm sure they have their own uh, how I say dress code their own rules and uh, that's my rules uh, and I, I want to I want to know what's your rules what do you think about that kind of thing okay so if you're ready finally here we go my method let's go today I'm using Lenormand Oracle cards uh, to be honest with you I think this is um, most cheapest Lenormand deck I got from Amazon I think it's like 12 or 15 dollar so I mean they look simple I like when I saw them uh, in Amazon, I think they're cute. And if you are just a um, beginner in uh, the Norman and Tarot text, then I think uh, this is a great opportunity, great uh, option. Because they are simple, you see that? Uh, they don't have, a, they're small and they don't have a lot of details. So it's easy to remember, memorize the cards and uh, understand what they can tell you, that, uh, what they symbolize. You see it? Not that many details, not that colorful, kind of mostly green, brown color, like classic old fashioned style <laughs> the Norman cards. Okay, so in this method, this, this method is kind of similar to the one that I showed in my previous video. I call it uh, I call it snail too, because it looks like a snail. But in this uh, method, you don't need to take a, a significator. You, let's say, um, I told you, my previous method, you have to 
um, choose the significator. If your question was about um, agreement, uh, any kind of agreement, right? Lease, assignment, contract, then you can take a ring. Some people take a letter, card number 27, which is a letter. Uh, because a letter also a paper, right? Uh, assignments, uh, all kind of uh, paper job, emails, certificates and stuff. Uh, if your question is about a personal relationship or dates, uh, partnership, marriages, then you can take a, as a significator card number 24, which is a heart, and put it in the middle and uh, check what's the past of the situation, what's now situation, what's the future, right? If your question about some kind of documents, Mm, you can take a, as a significator you i usually prefer to take a card number 19 which is a castle because all kind of facility you know all kind of uh, government buildings schools uh, educational buildings uh, visa and etc some people take it uh, for documentation questions they take a, a letter card number 27 they take a, car, a book Book also knowledge, right? Opening some something, some answers, getting some answers. Uh, if you ask a question about um, the money, financial situation, finances, then uh, I prefer take a card number 34, which is a fish, because the fish is about money, about financial, about job. Some people take a card number 14, fox. Some people card number... Uh, mm, the castle which is stability high so high society level you know promotion so etc it depends again how you see the cards how you if you work with the cards uh, if you try to experience with them get a lot of experience you probably already know that one card can play with you different way and with me they might play out differently and also your intuition how you feel how you see the cards right we all individuals we have a all have a kind of uh, very unique uh, mindset we all unique uh, in a, we all uh, live in a unique way in thinking and uh, talk about different way so that's the great thing about uh, the cards they so they have a they find a way to talk with each person in their own way okay so let's talk about uh, in this method you don't need to take any significator you just let the cards choose for you and give you the significator of the situation so i want to um, ask a question from my own experience um, in that way I, it's easy for me to read the cards uh, let's say my question is about what's going to happen with my youtube channel during a six months or what if let's say i have an idea to open youtube channel right and uh, i have to give the also with the order or the question to the cards i have to give them a, the question about time I don't know if I told you that the question about the time is important because cards always trying to give you right answer or right advice or right glue. But if you don't let them give them, uh, ask them the direct question about timing, like six months, uh, three months or a year, then um, they not, they're going to give you right answer, but maybe not this particular time, maybe next year. Or they give you right advice for uh, same situation, but in different uh, period of time. I think you understand what I'm talking about. I mean, there is some fortune tellers, of course, uh, who can give you the answer for year, more than over the year, or for five years, for 10 years, some people, really. But I'm not a pro again. I will be honest with you. As I told you in the beginning of my video, I'm just learning. I'm, I have been taking courses. I'm not certified yet. So I have... I just learn, you know, and I, of course I start working with the cards and I have some customers, but uh, I still have a long way to go. So, but my teacher, I will tell you, my teacher has a more than 20 years experience, right? And she, uh, she can make, she can predict the things that five years, sometimes eight years. So you have to be very pro to to make that kind of long period predictions you know what i mean but i'm not a pro so i usually don't go further than year year even for me i'm i'm check like 10 times my cards before i giving a prediction i giving a, a answer about some question to my friends or my family or my customers for year i'm already worrying because year is like a big period of time it's whole 12 months so let's say six months what's gonna happen if i'm open my um, YouTube channel, and I'm going to use uh, as a content my Lenormand cards, okay? And I shuffle the cards. It's just example, okay? 
and I, I pull one card and this card will be the uh, like a significator but I don't know what card I got the cards uh, the the cards gonna give me the answer what's the main main thing main topic of my question this card everything what's gonna happen whatever gonna happen will be around this card this card shows you that what's all about what you have to pay attention to how is all situation right now what's going on you know what's all about so it's like a main card main the key key card so two cards i pull in uh, left side these two cards will explain this this card will explain why i got this card this card will show me why i got this card these two cards will show me what's my situation right now in this particular question what's going on now about this question or what's the past of my this question in two more cards i pull and uh, and i put it in the right side it's gonna show what's gonna happen if i open my youtube channel during a six months what's gonna go how it's gonna be is going to be well or not or it's gonna be some complications okay so let's open the main card main card snake okay the snake um this card is very interesting card it's mostly negative cards but the question in the question about related to the personal life sexual life this card talks about you might someone is like your partner is cheating on you or going to cheat or you have some person some woman depends who you are who wants to take your space who uh, who try to who is jealous to you, you know, uh, try to lure you to something. So sneaky person in a bad way, bad, but you have to be very, very careful. But my question was about the, don't forget, uh, keep you in your mind the question because the cards might confuse you. So I remember the question was about my YouTube channel, about my YouTube channel in during a six months. So don't forget also in my experience, card number seven, snake, talks about medicine and also spiritual thing about magic thing uh also about like a black magic about uh, uh, esoteric thing so cards exactly showing me what's all about it's about some being wise using your spiritual thing uh using your your intuition because this question wasn't related to medicine. So now cards to try to tell me, I have to be, right now I have to be very, uh, very careful because I might be not enough smart. I might have a lot of snake people around me who might try to destroy my channel, who might get jealous to me because I opening channel, let's say that way, or might to do something to put me down. And to be honest with you, like what? I just opened my channel recently, right? And um, if it's not my husband who encouraged me to open this channel, I I will never be able to open this channel. You know why? Because not because um, it's not impossible thing. It's just uh, was too many things going on, and I'm busy. I'm mom, uh, and uh, not everyone around me was supportive about my idea opening YouTube channel. And still, but again, thanks my husband, my family, and thank you guys that you're watching me because without your likes, without your views, I will never be able to continue you encouraging me after so many views, so many likes and supporting words. To be honest, that's the way how I keep doing my my video. I keep, you encourage me to keep working and you letting me know you're in the right way. We like, I like what you do. You know, even each one view, it's a big, big, um, big encourage for me. So thank you again for that. And I appreciate that. I do, I do appreciate that. So this card talks about jealousy. I have to be careful. Not everyone will be happy. There is going to be also snake talk about like, there is going to be not easy way because snake is quiet, snake is careful, you know, but if the snake is bite you, you might die right away. It's really dangerous, right? It's very beautiful, but very dangerous uh, species. So I have to be very careful. The cards try to tell me you and you know, in a special, very interesting, very um, intriguing moment of your life. Uh, okay, let's say how about what's going on right now with my idea opening a YouTube channel, right? During a six months. 
Okay, I got card uh, number two, Clover, and the book. Good cards, I will tell you. Clover is a lucky card, right? As you remember, I told you how it did play out with me, mostly positive way. It's not a like so strong lucky card as a sun, but it's still, it's still a good card. It still gives me the chance that I might be successful. I might be in the right way with my idea opening my YouTube channel. In the book, book means that I need to have, I have, I still, especially book in this card, in some Lenormand decks, the, cards, uh, the card number 26 book is open, but here it's uh, the book is closed. What does that mean? It means I have still a lot of things to learn. I still need to learn a lot of things. I have a long way to go because book is a knowledge. Book something that I don't know yet, not reached yet. A book is like a certificate. Well, well, I don't have certificate yet. I hope I will get in a couple months, but that's why I'm, I'm keep taking my online classes. But the card uh, number two, Glover, gives me a chance that I might be successful. I might be lucky. It might be lucky idea. Um, it might, I might be very lucky opening my YouTube channel. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. What's future of my channel in during a six months? Okay, that's really interesting because I got card number nine, bouquet and six uh, clouds. What does that mean? Bouquet, it uh, talks about some gifts, some dates, uh, some presents. Um, beautiful because bouquets, for me, I love flowers each week. Basically, I don't buy myself sometimes some chocolate or some makeup, but I always uh, try to have a fresh flowers because I love flowers. I think they are a piece of art and they're pretty. So, and also flowers, the number nine uh, card talks about uh, the hobby. Right? So basically now I open YouTube channel because Lenormand cards are my hobby. It did start from the small amount of hobby. Now I try to make it something bigger, right? So card number nine talks about uh, bouquet is something also don't last long, something small. Okay? Because of real flowers, if you put them in the vase, the real one, they're not going to last long. Maybe the longest one, maybe months or two, I don't know. But they usually after a couple of weeks, you have to throw them away, unfortunately. But they're pretty. Uh, so it means that my hobby, right? In the future, if I open a, a YouTube channel, my hobby, based on my hobby, right? It will be pretty. It looks like a great idea. Uh, it's uh, cute. I put a lot of effort. You know, I bought candles. I try to make my channel beautiful as much as I can. And the clouds talks about... Um, a lot of dubs, a lots of might uh, some situation might happen that an expected situation clouds also talk like my mind not going to be that clear. I might not be sure. Am I going the right way? I might be in a doubt. I might be uh, sometimes feeling like, no, that's not mine. You know, I have to go back to hospital, the job that's mine or I'm not making enough money. This is take too much uh, stuff and I need to make too much effort. So the class talks about, uh, in this particular particular question about open YouTube, I think this is talks about like, I'm not sure if it goes well. So I might still having some kind of doubts and the kind of ideas that I'm not going in the right way. Also the class talks about um, when person is not, the mind is not set up. So in the future, during a six months, I mean, with my channel, I might have some problems, issues. Some people might give me wrong information, try to brainwash me. Or me, myself, will be not thinking sometimes, not being sure, am I going in the right way. So, but the good side, side of this card is the clouds are only temporary working card. It's something not that serious compared with uh, size, compared with uh, cross, compared with... Uh, I don't know, with a snake, this card is not that really harmful. If you did watch my previous video, I did talk about this card. This, this is usually this kind of problems, whatever you have by this card, the problems don't last long. Maybe a week, maybe two. The longest one in months. Uh, another thing I want to tell you, when you pull that kind of not sure cards, you always can pull one more card, additional card to understand to more have it, maybe you're confused, you know, maybe you don't understand what the card tried to tell you by bouquet, bouquet is a good card somehow, and you go to clouds, what's going on? And you pull one more card, you always have a right to pull card, and I pull card number 17, stork. 
Stork. Stork is a good card in my opinion. It's uh, differences, changes, migration, parcel, um, big changes in the mostly, it's a good changes. So after the clouds, I might have some kind of period of period of uh, not being sure in your myself, not being um, being disattracted, uh, being a little bit depressive maybe, you know. I don't smoke, so maybe I will drink a little bit. I don't know. Sometimes it's, this card shows that drinking hangover or being like a migraines, having a uh, feeling a kind of down. After that, the storks, I pulled this card, right? It means it's a good card. It means, yes, it will work it out somehow. Maybe not fast, but some way my life will change because of the YouTube channel and the YouTube channel will be good. But again, I don't see here, if you look, you guys see it, that I don't see any money card, like a fish, a financial card, like a bear. I didn't pull any cards like an um, anchor, which might talk about some amount of, good amount of money, which means I'm not going to make lots of money during a six months by opening YouTube channel. Otherwise, I'll get some money card, but I don't see any. But again, I got a good card still. We have to be always try to be positive, right? Only negative card I see here, snake, kind of, in the cloud. But last card I pull is a stork. It's a good difference, changes coming to my life. So I hope you understand and you like my method and you can use it. You know, you can try to use it. You never know until you try, you know? Some methods, whatever I watch through YouTube channel, it, they they did seem to me like too complicated. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna use that. I'm not ready for that. I need more time. I need something easier. But I try it and I'm like, huh, I guess it, it does work. I guess it, it, it does shows and gives me the most uh, look uh, to, be, to be true answer. So one more method I wanna finish my video with, it's, um, it's uh, less complicated than this one because I know you're probably thinking, oh my God, she said that's easiest way. That's actually hardest way. <laughs> this is a uh, way easier than the previous one um, because you just need to pull four cards, okay? In this method. So this method great uh, also with any kind of question. Let's say um, you have some kind of maybe uh, I use this. I used that method when I had a kind of fight with one of my friends, and I was. I wanted to get my friendship back with her, and I wasn't sure what I'm gonna do. What should I do? And I asked the cards the the question. Let's say I said, "Why, Elisa?" So my friend Elisa, right? We got kind of fight, not a big fight, but kind of. So we stopped stopped talking for quite long time, and I was wondering. What's gonna card tell me? How is the situation? What might happen next? So I asked the question, I shuffled the card. I said, I asked them, uh, what's going on between me, me and Elisa? Or how is Elisa in me, in my relationship, friendship? Okay, you need to pull one card here, okay? It calls, the method calls, um, classic crest it's very famous if you are already working with the normal cards or tarot cards you probably already know what method i'm talking about it called uh it calls uh classic or celtic crest celtic i don't know if i pronounce right but i know in russian it's a classic uh, crest it called so you pull on one card this card gonna show what's now your situation right what's going on right now and the one more card you pull and put it here on the right side, it, this card gonna show what you shouldn't do in a particular situation. And this card will show what you should do to help, let's say, if you wanna get back to your friendship or your relationship, what you should do to help the situation. And what's the conclusion, what's the result? What's gonna be the end of the situation? So let's say my question was like, uh, what's going on between me and Elisa. Okay, the card number 12, birds. Birds is about couple, about friends, about chip chat. 
So that card also in the particular question talks about, uh, I'm talking a lot. I know I, 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 I did talk about Elisa with our other friends and I was asking like, how is she doing? Try to figure out what's going on. Uh, maybe that sounds like a gossip because the card number two also talk about chip chat, gossip, nothing very serious, not crazy serious, uh, you know, but just a blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, we were friends. We were talking a lot. We didn't maybe meet each other many times, but we did talk a lot through phone because I was sitting at home with a kid and I wasn't able to go outside a lot. Plus pandemic happened. So great thing was a phone or internet. So my situation right now, I want to get back to her, right? That talks like, uh, this card talks shows that we were friends and we were really close because we talk a lot. We know about each other a lot. We hang out, we understand each other. We're singing together karaoke. Yes, we did go to karaoke a lot too. Let's see what I shouldn't do in this situation. What, what I don't need to do. Okay, card number 19, interesting. Uh, the castle, castle, uh, the advice from the cards, uh, they try to tell me, don't be like a castle. Don't put yourself in a castle. Don't be too arrogant. Don't don't act and think that you're higher because castle, you see it? Castle is high, tall building, strong. Don't put yourself in a castle. Don't isolate yourself. Don't act like you're higher than other people, you know, physically, verbally. Don't think that you are smarter than her or other people. Uh, so basically, uh, stop blocking yourself up. Make a first step. Move. Don't be like a castle. Don't a castle made by stone. And uh, what I should do. So this is what I what I shouldn't do, and this is what I should do actually. So the house. House is what. Uh, house is our intimacy. House is our home where we feel free and safe, where we can actually not act. And pretend to be someone right if you really want to know someone really close if you really want to see that person in their real life live with them start uh, go to their home or apartment and you will see because how sometimes or the uh, place where person lives uh, lives can show you more than that person can tell you right so what does that mean what i should do i should be house um, described by this card the person usually like slow you know conservative uh, taking too, maybe a little bit too long to think or do some decision. Take it easy. You know, house, uh, be family oriented. Uh, so for me, I think the cards are trying to tell me in that question, chill out, relax, uh, be slow. Don't make any crazy action, fast actions, you know. Uh, think about your own mind, your business. And uh, try to make a first effort. Try to maybe text or call her or let her know through someone. Don't be like, a, you know, castle or person who is in a, like, I don't know, politician, the guy working in the government while you, I'm not working in the government. Okay, and the result of the situation will be uh, mice or rats. So what does that mean? Unfortunately, in this question, the rats means we probably might fight again because the rats talk about uh, some dirty movements, some secrets, being like a rats, uh, fights, um, not being honest, right? Some doing something because rats working at night, right? And they work all together. So what that mean? We might lost our friendship. Rats also talk about something like uh, losing something. It might be friendship, it might be money, it might be relationship, it might be a person, it might be a thing. So in the conclusion and the result of the, um, our relationship with Elisa might be, unfortunately, we will, she is a rat or I am a rat or we just, we just lost our friendship and uh, we're not going to be able to be friends, good, great friends as before together. Yeah, unfortunately, rats in most most of my experience did play out negatively and sometimes really bad. Uh, sometimes the positive part of this card, it's like working together, being a team, being a great team because the rats always work together, live like so many of them, right? Always they, they hang out with lots of them. So they all work as a team job. So the positive 
um, part of this card talks about that being together, being a great team, understanding each other, being in the same wave. But in my question, I think the conclusion is not good. They try to say that mm -mm, you cannot trust her or she cannot trust me. We lost that. Okay, and um, you have to understand the cards talk about particular one period of time, some period of time or some person and you don't forget how to check the cards as often as you can. Because sometimes after three months, I check the cards, I got one answer. After three months, I check the card, they give me about same question, about same situation, they give me different answer. So you know what I mean? Because the life is unpredictable, you never know um, what's gonna happen next. So that was my video for today. And I hope that was, that was interesting. I did share a little bit of my personal uh, life, uh, what I'm thinking about, what I was going through. And uh, if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, push the like button, and don't miss my next video. Uh, it's going to be even more interesting. Thank you for watching. Bye.